Well, hi there, folks. It's Matt Hayson here looking at this week's property market and plenty going on. Let's look at the RBA who did have their board meeting this week and as expected, they left the cash rate on hold. However, the commentary coming out of the RBA is becoming a lot more hawkish, suggesting that their cash rate will be lifted around June. That's the major prediction. Now, many people were suggesting it was only going to be a modest increase, the first cash rate increase from 0.1% up to 0.2%. However, many people are now suggesting that it is going to be stronger, lifting from 0.1% up to 0.4%. Now, what's very interesting with all of this, if the cash rate is lifted in June, we have an entire generation of homeowners who have never seen the cash rate increased ever. It hasn't happened since 2010, so it's going to be very interesting to see how that all unfolds. Now, the futures market, they're pretty bearish. They're suggesting the cash rate could be as high as 2% by the end of the year. Now, in our view, that is completely implausible. Most institutions believe the cash rate's going to be sitting at around 1% by the end of this year. Now, moving the RBA off to the side, we are still seeing some fragility for the auction market. It is now seven weeks in a row where we've seen a declining auction clearance rate landing last week at 50.4%. Now what's very interesting about this, we are moving in to a super Saturday. 1,617 properties are due to go under the hammer this week in Sydney. So in our view, we're seeing that declining auction clearance rate could see some downward pressure on prices to get some sales done this weekend. Now, boiling all of this down, what does it mean? Well, April is going to be a very critical month for the property market. And in some ways, what goes up? must come down. At the end of March, we learned from CoreLogic that property values around Sydney had declined just modestly by 0.2 of a percent. But that leads us into this weekend where we've got a really big weekend of auctions, a super Saturday, and we've got this declining auction clearance rate. We also now have a more definitive date when the cash rate could be increased. Then we lead into school holidays this week. We've got Easter followed up by that. Then we've got Anzac Day. And overlaying all of that, we've got the shenanigans of a federal election, which is a time when many buyers and sellers do pause or be more cautious. So in our perspective, if you're a buyer right now and you're finance ready, there's some wonderful buying opportunities available, but you need to be mindful. The price floor has not fallen out from underneath the property market whatsoever. We've just seen a modest adjustment on prices, but we are also coming off the back of one of the biggest bull markets in Sydney's property history. Now, from a seller's perspective, please bring your home onto the market with the right set of motivations. And then once you're on the market, please listen to the feedback and adjust and be more nimble with your approach because that is gonna set you up for a successful sale. So that leads us into this weekend, folks. Hopefully it's not too wet. We're sick of the rain and we look forward to seeing you out and about. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all next week.